e ci fua he tangata e te kai whakatere o te hoi e re te i hopu manawa o te iwi e matu a hau te re e ara e Tēnā koutou, uh, ko Tamati James Wilson tōku ingoa, he uri a hau nō ngā uh, And this is a pūrāko about matu a hautere. It's kind of a collection of stories and kōrero that I have grown up on. Uh, nō reira, matu a hautere is a significant tūpuna of ngā tikuia. He was an uh, explorer navigator on his waka te hoere. He travelled across uh, Raukawa Moana and throughout uh, the Palora Sounds. When he arrived in, in Te Tauihu, he was met by our kaitiaki, Kai Kai Awaro, uh, who takes the form of a dolphin, and she guided him and protected him um, along his journey. Throughout the sounds, they got to a place where they couldn't travel any further inland, so Kai Kai Awaro uh, came around the front, swam in uh, before Matua Hautere, and just dug out um, a channel and a pathway for him to be able to take his waka in. Uh, that pathway is the Polaris River. So Kai Kai Awaro uh, dug the awa out so that Matua Hautere could uh, travel further. According to some of the Pūrākau, uh, Matua Hautere is responsible for the naming of one of our maunga, uh, Maunga Tapu or Moke Tapu. Uh, so he and Kai Kai, or Kai Kai Awaro guided him um, as far as she could and then Matua Hautere got off his waka and he climbed uh, the maunga there. Uh, on top of the maunga, he built a tuahu, uh, recited karakia, and this made this place tapu. Uh, the tuahu that he built was made out of pākohe, uh, and just close to that site where the tuahu was, um, is one of our quarries where our tūpuna would uh, break up big boulders to be fashioned into tools and taonga. In the Pākauera manuscripts, uh, you can see the whakapapa and the connections right from Kupe uh, down to Matua Hautere and his son Matua Kuha and then further down uh, to Kuia and then down to us, Ngāti Kuia. Matua Hautere is an important tūpuna for us because he founded this land uh, for this beautiful whenua for our people to settle in. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa.